mentioned before how dirty the rifle was, so I decided to give all the parts quick clean before I started the prep work. One of the main reasons is so the oil and grit doesn't contaminate the sandpaper and then you end up just rubbing it into the part that you're working on. I used some WD-40 to loosen the dirt, I gave it a quick wipe off and then a final clean in white spirit. This stage doesn't really need to be perfect, I was just getting the worst of it off. But as you can see from the white spirit at the end of this clip, that it still, it still managed to get quite a bit away. One of the first issues I noticed with the rifle was the fact that the bolt was, was quite stiff in its operation, so I decided I wanted to polish it. So I mounted it in a vise, obviously using cardboard to stop the, um, the vise from scratching it, and I was using 1500 grit sandpaper and WD-40 instead of water, um, and, I can, and I sanded it as you can see. You can use this method of sanding for any circular parts, just be careful if they have edges that protrude a little bit more as it can wear them away depending on how coarse the sandpaper is. As you'll see later on in this video, I use this for pretty much the entire rifle and it does give a very good uniform finish. Just to finish the bolt off, I decided to use some metal polish with the Dremel to get a little bit, little bit more shine on the bolt. I, I do apologize about the quality of the video, it was a little bit late at night. The only thing I will say about using a Dremel is that it likes to spray polish everywhere. If you don't have Dremel, that's also fine. Um, you can do this with normal sort of material or even some tissue it just takes a little bit longer I mean you can also employ that for um, any little hard to reach areas or like the part I'm doing at the moment which destroys the um, polishing wheel moving on to the barrel now this had some light rust and pitting that I wanted to get rid of I mean you can probably see from the sandpaper that I show you it, it was it was pretty bad um, so I just continued to sand it until it was removed I also had some sharp corners and machining marks that I wanted to smooth out so I did that at the same time as you can see later on I used the same technique as sanding the bolt 400 grit sandpaper was perfectly fine for this and it actually gave quite a nice polish finish Bolt carrier is probably the worst part of the rifle for machining marks. Sandpaper simply wouldn't remove these, so I just got a needle file and carefully went over almost the entire area until those marks are pretty much removed. Obviously, I only did this to the outside of it and took care not to go anywhere near the sight mounts. All the markings are still left intact, like the serial number, made in Czechoslovakia, etc. But they then became quite smooth to the touch. After the initial smoothing with the file, I swapped to 80 grit sandpaper, followed by 400 grit until I achieved the finish that I wanted. As you can see at this stage, it's starting to look quite nice. With the 80 grit sandpaper, I tried to sand in a longitudinal direction. So when I swapped over to the 400 grit, it would actually remove the sanding lines. Once again, I use a sandpaper like emery cloth to get a uniform finish. <laughs> 